This is how you do the quizzes in RPC 1.4 uh, in my classes, uh, Bardat's classes, to be more precise. Uh, the very first thing that you need to do is to open a matrix connection. So log into matrix using putty. So uh, open up putty, log into matrix. And this is the first thing that you need to do when you come to class for, for uh, when you have a lab, because uh, we do the quiz right at the beginning of the class. Now that you're ready for this, the next thing you need you need to you need to do is to create a new file called quizx.txt. Okay, x replaces x is replaced by the number of the quiz by the quiz number. So in here, if I want to do quiz one, I'm going to write nano quiz one dot txt. But it's a good idea to create a directory and be organized. I've already created uh, a directory, so I'm going to uh, cd to that one to have all my quizzes in a good in a uh, proper place in my account. So I'm going to say cd quizzes. In that one, I'm going to say nano quiz one dot txt. Remember, Linux is case sensitive. You cannot have capital Q or anything like that. It's all lowercase quiz1.txt and you hit enter. Then you open a browser and go to GitHub. So GitHub, IPC144 organization, and go to your section. In your section, you will see there's a directly called quiz. You have to wait for me, and I'm going to post the quiz over here whenever the quiz is uh, uh, is released. So when I do that, you will see. So I'm just releasing a, a demo quiz. There we go. So now if you refresh. you will see that quiz one PDF appeared over here. That's when you can start your quiz. So what you do, um, you uh, uh, first, uh, first of all, this, uh, so um, I just have to mention this in here. So open a browser, go to open your section slash quiz. Uh, wait for your quiz to appear. So and that's what we have done. So the, the quiz is ready to be uh, uh, to be done. So open the quiz. So this is the quiz one, and over here it explains exactly how the quiz is supposed to be done. So create a new file called quiz one txt. You did that. Keep saving your file to make sure you don't lose any data. It means as if you're as you are doing. So the following questions, as you are doing, you have to save it so to make sure it's not uh, you don't lose anything if the connection is lost. So write a C statement. Uh, declare an integer variable called h and initialize it to 24. So I'm going to write one. Then I'm going to write over here int h is set to 24 so that's answered the first question I'll save it I'll do control O and it's gonna say right so it writes it if I lose the connection I can come back and open the file again and I didn't lose anything write a statement to print hello world and then go to new line so I'm gonna say to printf hello world and go to new line that's the next one Again, I save it, control O, save. Now name four integer types in C language. So I'm gonna say three, name three integer file, integer types, so char, int, short, and long. There you go. 
so for integer types and that's it so I'm gonna say control X and exit save modified yes exit and it's done now to submit this to my professor that is Fardad I'm gonna type Fardad's name tilde f-a-r-d-a-d -A -A -D, dot Soleimanlu slash submit space SCP that is your section Q that is quiz and one uh, that's the quiz number and hit enter as soon as you enter it says would you like to submit the demonstration of the of quiz one I'm gonna say yes and hit enter thank you would you like to receive a copy of the submission if you want to get a notification to make sure that it's submitted you don't need to when it says thank you your work is submitted the email is sent you're done but if you want to get a copy of it have it in your email sure just type Y and then yes you're gonna get it you may not get the second message if I don't set it up to do so so like this I'm done I submitted the quiz now if I go to my email as your professor you will see that you just sent me an email uh, a, a quiz at 11 17 a.m. I can click on it and click on the quiz and I can see the questions that are sent to me I'll mark it and I'll simply reply to this and say mm, uh, whatever that I need to if I don't reply anything to you it means you you all the questions are right you got the full mark but if I reply to you it means something uh, was wrong with your quiz so like question number two something went wrong so I'll tell you what is wrong and then you do a reflection on that and you get your mark back from me uh, we've talked about that in class and I'm not going to go through the details on that so that's it that's how you submit your quiz to me just to show you what happens if you don't name the file properly so I'm just gonna uh, rename uh, quiz one dot txt with capital Q quiz one dot txt and try to do the submission again so if I just hit this that it's gonna say uh, submitting quiz one quiz one dot txt is missing because you misspelled it when you were saving it so I'm gonna put it back the way it was quiz one to quiz one dot txt or lowercase now if I run it again you will see that it actually accepts I'm gonna say no so abort it another thing if you misspell this identification name for your assessment that you're submitting it could be your workshop it should be your quiz say I put capital S here by mistake let's say I put over here capital S if I do something like that it's gonna say cannot find assessment submission specs report to this to your professor before you report it to me make sure that what you've typed over here is right otherwise it sees that it cannot find the specification for what it's supposed to submit and it gives you that message so if I turn it back to lowercase you will see that it actually got submitted perfectly so I'm gonna say no and that's it that's how you do the quizzes in the class